Okie dokie, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again. And, um, chances are pretty good. This is probably going to be a short one. Um, yeah, I, I don't really have a whole lot. So, cause just, I kind of had a busy night, but, oh, 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 let me stop here real quick. Um, let me intro this music. This is going to be Sidereal Fortress, Advanced Steel. It's just going to be some uh, Dungeons and Dragons synth. So, basically, music for tabletop RPGs. So, then, let me uh, check the volume real quick. Okay, I'm just going to say close enough on that. Uh, but otherwise, it, it's, it's, it's pretty much been all Rev 2. Um, like yesterday, I decided to just go ahead and park all the, the oops, the Windjammers 2. Uh, I'm starting to burn out on it, so I need to do one other thing. Once again, I just decided not to play any uh, Windjammers 2. I think I'm uh, pretty much burning out on it. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, just after that, went right back on Rev 2 again. Um, I I guess uh, since since the uh, the game's still up. it up again. Hold on. I have to close it out and then restart it. But I, I think I mentioned this yesterday too. Um, this this game is really quirky when it comes to sound. If you um, if you either turn off. Or turn on the sound from my external speaker with the game while the game's still running. It'll kill the sound in that in this game. Um, and from, from what I understand of it, it's actually a it's actually an Arxist, or it's actually a it's a Guilty Gear issue. I'll just say that. Uh oh, should be working. Oh, that's why. It went black for a demo mode. So, but yeah, just gonna go ahead and stop. Just gonna go ahead and stop that. I don't wanna. I don't wanna jack up the file size any more than it already is. Um, but. But yeah, I. Uh, let's go over here. Let's go to tra training. But yeah, for all. Um, and uh, I did post I did post this in my blog last night or my blog yesterday I should say but I uh, started playing a new character um, just picked this guy out of whim and um, and this guy is definitely going to be somebody I'm going to be playing a lot more now why? color 17 I, I freaking love that look it was probably one of the reasons why it's also one of the reasons why I was playing Jacko a lot. Just the frickin' color. I'll, I'll do a real tiny demo here. Take that damage to meter off because it's not gonna matter. So nope. 
So, but basically, this guy here, he plays a lot like Ryu, you know, of, of the of, of the Street Fighter universe, excuse me. Just real basic. Um <laughs> Oh, what a great button that is. I just found it uh, either, I think, yesterday. Things get too many. And, of course, it's got... And it's got the uh, dreaded motion inputs that I can't do half the time. So. But anyway, I just wanted to do that little demo there. But it seems to be the pattern I'm doing now. Anytime I get color number 17, I'm playing that character. Because like I said, I love the look. Went around that. Anyway. But yeah, this... What a godsend that button is. You can just uh, reset the position, start over just instantly. But uh, and um, I will also show how you get up, uh, how you get different colors and stuff. You just go over here and just do some, do some fishing. Um, but for those that have seen me play Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, fishing kind of works the same way. You know, you gotta spend uh, in-game currency. But you can get a, a variety of different things. Uh, character color is one of the big things I'm looking for. Once again, I'm looking for uh, character color number 17. But uh, there's like a whole bunch of other stuff you can do. Um, yeah, you can do... There's, uh, there's digital figurines in this game. Also, you can also do stuff like this. I kind of like the titles, but unfortunately, they uh, they forgot to add a a, a a space feature in here, so it's like one long word. But like I said, you can do um, you can do figurines on here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through and edit any of these because uh editing uh editing the figurines they are kind of it's kind of tedious so it can be a pretty major pain in the butt to work with you can do that though. I thought you could only change the background on the the big stand but not the small one. So and um 
そろそろ始めるとするオープスいやあ I thought I was just gonna pull up the menu but I'll talk more on this a little bit later Go ahead and bail out of that. But anyway, um, as you probably as you probably saw saw in there a few moments ago, and I have to fix something here. I got a. There it is. I gotta fix something real quick. Okay, anyway, but um, as you guys probably saw, um, I finished up story mode. But yeah, and, and, and even um, some parts of the, some parts of that story mode though, there's like way, or there's like a huge amount of animation going on. It was like actually uh, clogging up my computer. Like, it would um, it would show like 60 frames a second. All of a sudden, it would just slow down to like 15, 20. I mean. My computer's a potato, so, but, I mean, it, it, I mean, it, it even has a hard time handling, like, in-game movies and stuff, and, uh, I kind of have the same problem, too, with the either, either Grand Blue or Blaze Blue, I can't remember which one I played, but, yeah, I, it's, the game's basically unplayable, because my computer can't handle the graphics. Uh, but otherwise, after uh, after all that, I just pretty much went in sensory deprivation mode. Just didn't just just started watching and watching and reading and looking at random shit. Because uh, with all that, I mean, with all the uh, animation going on, the anime stuff, um, all the. Just all the long convo, and yeah, I had a, like I said yesterday, I had a, in the, uh, the text options, I had to set it from scrolling to instant, because I want to be able to just read the text instantly and just go on to the, to the next part of the story. Because, like, it, I, like I, I said it yesterday too, um, this game and like some other anime games I play, they get too long winded. It's like there are times I wish they would have a they would have had a narrator like Waylon Jennings. Like the guy who did Dukes of Hazard, you know, it's the good old boys, you know. Well looks like everything just fell into place. This game kinda needed that. something else I was wanting to say. Oh, yeah, um, but yeah, it looks like, uh, I look, the more I think about it, the more, the more I'm probably just gonna start, uh, doing Rev 2 full-time now. I'm liking the game, although when I first started playing it, I never thought so. Um, I even said so on, uh, when I did my fighting game tier list. I said, you know, Rev 2 is fucking S tier, but it didn't start that way. It just, it, uh, it just, like a passing pad or something, but the more I played it, the more I started liking it. Although, it's, I mean, it's kind of more, it, it's kind of a comp, it's kind of a complicated game. Um, in fact, let me, uh, So, once again, I forgot to... Just a moment.
but um, those that know me know it's not. I'm not against motion inputs in and of, you know, in and of themselves. It's just I would, I would rather be fighting my opponent than fighting the game. So and with a controller like mine, yeah, it's you know where it jumps right when I don't want it to. Um, sometimes um, it actually does pull off special moves that I don't want it to. You know, it just. I need a new controller, but I don't. I really can't afford the 60 bucks that's required to get a new one. And uh, it has to be up. And in case one were to ask, well, why don't, why don't you just go to Game Shop and get you a cheap one? It just. If, if it was a wireless controller, yeah. But wireless controllers aren't cheap. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure Game Shop or GameStop has, like, you know, cheap PlayStation 1 controllers that actually probably would work on my computer. Maybe even work on my game as, on this game as well, but again, it has to be wireless. Oh, I'm taking a drink of uh, Arizona green tea. That's what I was wanting to say. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um. I don't know when it's going to happen, if it's going to happen, but um, kind of like what I did with Gems of War, I think uh, when I part, when I first started playing that game, I was uh, I was creating videos. There were sort of kind of tutorials just of me uh, of me actually playing the game. Um, kind of thinking about doing the same thing with Rev 2, just making like little tutorials here and there. But I was uh. I was wanting to, I was wanting to title the video series, uh, what was it, from one newbie to another. It was a, it was a phrase that I often, ha I often kicked around in my head back when playing various other games too. Just, I think, uh, probably back, back when I was uh, streaming Final Fantasy XIV consistently, and just, you know, posting up stuff like that on my blog. You know, hey, I learned. Hey, I learned to do this, and I did this area here for the first time. Not a bad dungeon, you know, stuff like that. Um, thinking about doing it with our uh, Rev Two. I mean, especially with Rev Two, because I mean, what? It's a fighting game, I and mean, fighting games typically are a lot harder to get into than you know traditional RPGs and whatnot. And then two, uh, Guilty Gear Rev Two is in itself a pretty hard fighting game. So, so I thought it would be a. Uh, a pretty interesting idea to just start making videos of me, you know, trying to make head or tail out of the game and then calling it from one newbie to another. You know, instead of just sitting here calling it a Joe's tutorial as though I'm an expert on this shit. So, never been on the receiving end of it myself, but I have, uh, I have uh, been on forums and YouTube, not, not, not YouTube videos, but, you know, forums, message boards. People give you know people giving newbies advice, followed by some jackass saying, "Please stop giving bad or please stop giving bad advice." You know, and then the next line's gonna be, then the next person goes, "Oh, do share your enlightened opinion." You know, and then it just kind of snowballs from there. So I guess this would be a nice, be a more unique and honest way. Of me and saying, hey, I'm a new guy, you know, I'm a new guy, by, you know, I'm a new guy like you guys, so, but here's how you do this, you know, that kind of thing. So. Okay, but, um, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good here in oh, about 20 minutes. Kind of hoping to hit, like, right around the 15 minute mark like I did yesterday, but, but as the old saying goes, shit happens. So, but, Otherwise, thanks for uh, thanks for dropping it or thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, well, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye now.